Hey guys, um, my name is Stephanie. I'm also known as Oh Hey It's Ripley on Tumblr. I'm 21 years old. I'm currently out of school. I actually just graduated back in May with my Associate of Arts, but I'd been out of school for about six months at that point. So we're at about a year now, a little over a year since my last, uh, last time I was in a classroom. So uh, I'm planning to go back in the fall for to get my bachelor's in nonprofit management eventually an English degree, um, that coveted English degree I've always wanted, don't really need, but always wanted. Um, so I'm really excited for that. 2012 is going to definitely be a year transition for me, uh, going back to school, uh, starting my life with my boyfriend, uh, moving out, getting my own place. This is my parents' house. Uh, I've yet to move out completely on my own, so I'm, I'm really nervous, but so excited for that. I've always wanted to get my own place. Um, so yeah, 2012, big year of transition, but I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that, so it'll be a fun ride. If you follow my blog, you know that I'm pretty eclectic. Uh, I post a lot of things. Uh, I've posted a lot of, you know, military-related things, military SO stuff in the past couple months. Um, it's kind of become the place where I find all of the MILSO connections that I've made. Uh, I don't really go on a lot of other sites for... Uh, military significant others, but I definitely stock all the Tumblr tags. Um, so that's part of why I wanted to really get involved with this channel, since it's more specifically, it's for Milsos in general, but more specifically all of us over on Tumblr. Uh, I also post a lot of just, you know, typical dorky things. Um, I'm big on Harry Potter, Doctor Who, Supernatural, Sherlock, uh, Berlin, Glee, Darren, Chris, all that fun stuff. Uh, if it makes me laugh, I probably reblog it, no matter how stupid it is. Uh, if it's really pretty, it kind of makes me go, ooh, grabby hands, I want that, uh, it'll get posted. So just all kinds of random things. Um, I use my Tumblr to kind of rant and rave. You'll see a couple things about the boy, or about him. That would be about the boyfriend. Um, I kind of use it as my place to vent. Uh, I can't really vent a lot of other places, so... You'll see a lot of random stuff on there. Uh, I guess the next thing to talk about would be my boyfriend. Uh, he is a Marine. His name is Benji. Actually don't have a whole lot of time left, uh, technically being a military SO. Um, he's been in for three and a half years and he gets out this summer. Uh, no plans to re-enlist. Uh, I think civilian life terrifies him. I know it terrifies him. But at the same time, you know, he's really thought about it. It's what he wants to do. Uh, and he'll be coming home. And it'll be, it's exciting because we'll finally get to, you know, start our lives together and everything. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'll try to keep this brief. I have a little note on my desktop reminding myself, keep this brief, God damn it. Because it's not brief. Um, if you've ever been on my blog and read the Our Story tab, you know that. Uh, we kind of resemble a Nick Sparks novel, fair warning, uh, if you want to know all the details you can go over there, but long story short, we dated in junior high school, but I was a little intimidated, you know, he was very, we're going to be together forever and I love you even back then, you know, 13 years old and he was saying these things, 12 year old me just kind of went, ooh, ooh get away, um, but we kind of were on and off throughout high school, never officially dating, but, you know, obvious chemistry, obviously, obvious, uh, you know, attraction or whatever. Uh, we, were, we were always very good friends. Um, I was there with him before he left for boot camp. He spent the evening at my house. Uh, we had, you know, a bonfire and ate burnt marshmallows. Well, he ate burnt marshmallows all night. Um, you know, fun stuff. Uh, we're friends on and off over the years. Uh, we've been through a lot of crazy things. We've been through uh, him getting married and divorced. Still dealing with the tail end of that. We've been through, you know, obviously boot camp and then him going off to MOS and then him being stationed clear across the country after that. Uh, deployment. I think I have a unique perspective on deployments because at the time it was after he got married and we were just friends. So uh, it was kind of, it was definitely rough, you know, kind of being an outsider for that. So um, we've always had a physical distance between us causing a mental and emotional distance. So it's been rough, but uh, to the point even that when he came home in August, I kind of avoided all his calls and his texts and his messages beforehand. Um, 
because I wasn't sure if I could handle seeing him. And so when he did come home, I realized, okay, I, I, I can't, I can't handle knowing he's right there and I'm not allowed, you know, I'm not allowing myself to go see him. So I got a hold of him and we went out for drinks and pretty much by the end of the night, it was pretty obvious that, okay, yeah, this isn't over. It's never going to be over. Who are we trying to fool? So uh, August 9th, 2011, kind of our unofficial official start. And yeah, it's just, it's been a crazy journey. So we've gone through a lot in the past five months. And that's why I've started, you know, finding other military SOs. Uh, I never really knew this world existed until I officially started dating him again. So, and it's been helpful. It's been a lot of help because we're used to the distance, but there are still things that are very unique to a military relationship. And uh, that kind of brings me to why I wanted to be a part of this channel is that I've done long distance relationships. Uh, my only other really serious relationship was a long distance one before Benji. Uh, lasted about a year. Uh, before Benji came waltzing back in my life, I really truly thought this guy was the one. And so uh, I know it can be tough. I know it can be very stressful. Uh, but I also know it can be very worth it. And uh, I understand, again, I've had to deal with long distance and lack of communication for nine years. <laughs> so I understand how that works. And so I'm always willing to, you know, talk and let people vent to me because yeah, again, it's stressful. And sometimes you just need someone to talk to someone to complain to, to make you feel a little better. So I'm always here for that. Um, like I said earlier, this is also a big year of transitions for me. Uh, so I know that there are a lot of other SOs out there that are young, that are going through, you know, college and our own place. Some of you are, are, you know, new to the relationship. Some of you are getting married. There's a lot of change happening. And so I want you to know that you're not alone. And, uh, so I'm always here to give advice on that, uh, general support, things like that. Um, so that, that's kind of why I want to be a part of this. I'll also be asking questions, maybe like a little poll or something at the end of each week. Uh, asking for your opinions. Um, also opening myself up to any questions, uh, questions about me, questions about relationships in general, uh, advice you might be looking for, anything. I'm always willing to talk. Uh, you can leave comments on the video. You can email us. Our email is tumblrmilsos at gmail.com. There'll be a little link down here. Um, so you can always email us there. My ask box on Tumblr is always open. So whatever, you, you know, you need to do to get a hold of me. I'm always here to talk. So I can't promise to have the best answers. Uh, in terms of the military, I'm still pretty new to all of this. I've been around it on and off over the past four years. But, uh, you know, our, our time together was always very limited. So we, we didn't talk about, you know, his job very much if we could help it. Uh, so I'm just starting to learn. So I feel almost like a new military girlfriend, you know, a girl who's dating someone just fresh out of boot camp in a way. I'm, I'm still learning everything. Um, but, you know, I'll do my best and I'll answer especially relationship questions you have. I've been through a lot of different things, uh, still going through a lot of different things, and uh, I'm always here to talk or just listen. So feel free to shoot us an email, uh, whatever. And um, uh, just a big, huge thanks to all the other girls who are doing this as well. It's been really awesome seeing your videos and getting to know some of you guys. I can't wait to see the rest of the videos this week, and I look forward to uh, all the great things we're going to be doing with this channel. So, uh to all our vloggers, to all our followers and viewers and things like that. Uh, I really look forward to sharing this channel with you and getting to know all of you. And I will see you again next week for our first official, uh, first official week, first official vlog. So we'll see what all that one's going to be about. So I go hope you guys had a great new year and I will talk to you soon. Bye.